Guys, this is Jared aka the Saint of Sins and I'm back with some NBA 2K11 Michael Jordan challenge this time we're going for the shrug yeah uh, quickly I want to apologize on two different fronts here first off I'm I'm really sorry for being late with this video um, I haven't been feeling so well today and uh, I was hoping to get this out before the end of the day somewhere around uh, maybe around seven or eight o'clock uh, Eastern time but uh, unfortunately you know that th that just wasn't gonna work out with me feeling the way that I, I was feeling this, uh, earlier today and um, the other thing is I'm gonna apologize for this uh, gameplay footage because the one thing that I wanted to do uh, that I've really been thinking about a lot since I've actually started up uh, playing 2K11 and um, got the PVR was that I want to try and do all the Jordan challenges on Hall of Fame. This video, however, I'm, I've been doubting and questioning whether or not this was on Hall of Fame for a while because I, I could have sworn I had made the switch. I really could have sworn, but it, in my haste, I may have um, forgotten to, to, make, to make the change in difficulty, which, of course, is unfortunate. Um, because this turned out to be such an exciting and fun game that I, I couldn't believe that, um, you know, I would make such a, such a trivial mistake early on. And, uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to, to get some of the other game footage, um, up where I, where I've been playing this on Hall of Fame and, uh, meeting the, the objectives. Uh, it's been a while to, uh, for me because, um, Hall of Fame is extremely cheap. Um, I say that because, uh, you know, you got a lot of YouTube uh, uh, players out there who play on Hall of Fame, but mostly they're playing, you know, uh, my player mode or uh, create a legend mode. And, you know, it, it's it's easier to, to win out games on Hall of Fame when you only have to control one player and, you know, just ensure that <laughs> that one player gets most of the shots, if not all of the shots, uh, to help win out the game. Uh, here, you know, it's a little bit difficult because uh, one, this, my gameplay style doesn't doesn't allow for me to really uh, focus in on just trying to score with one player. Uh, I, I kind of like to spread the ball around to just about everyone and push with uh, the open shot rather than the, the one guy that that needs to take the shots. Uh, so the, the Jordan Challenge has been a little uh, frustrating on me in that regard. In that. Um, I, I struggle trying to really force open shots with, with Jordan, uh, especially when <laughs> half the time I would notice in the first quarter, I would get double teamed a lot with Jordan. Just 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 after taking one or two shots, he's already be, being double teamed immediately. And, um, you know, that, that, that kind of hurts your chances of actually completing your objective if the one guy that you have um, to, to do most of the scoring with is is constantly being uh, boxed out of the paint and having to put up uh, contested shots all the fucking time. So um, it, it's been a struggle. I, so far, uh, I, I've really been enjoying playing NBA 2K11. I, I, I've kind of wanted to check out 2K12, especially after the DLC that came out. But uh, I've been hearing so many bad things about the game that I'm I'm a little bit worried uh, to even check it out. Uh, but to be honest, I was going to be late on it anyway. I I, I tend not to buy. Uh, recently, um, I've tended not to to want to get into um, the, the the sports games upon their release because one, there's always usual there's usually going to be a lot of issues with um, with those releases. Uh, there's always going to be patches that need to be coming out. Um, and even then, the, the patches may not fix all of the issues, the core issues, I should say, that uh, plague the game's uh, playability. Uh, on the other hand, it, um, I also look at it as uh, it's $60 every year that you're guaranteed to, to be spending. And it, a man of my position just cannot afford that. So I kind of, you know, um, I'm always looking to try and steal a deal. Uh, for a lot of these sport titles, uh, like here, I actually was able to pick up uh, 2K11 off GameFly with a uh, $5 um, uh, 
what's the word? Uh, oh man, I'm blanking. Uh, it, it was five dollars off, and I was able to purchase it for about um, five dollars, even maybe just four something, four and some change. Either way, I, you know, I was I wasn't going to spend more than ten dollars. Uh, so I was happy with that. I was I really was uh, extremely happy with the purchase because you know I've been having so much fun with this game that has so many features and so many modes that you can really just uh, lose yourself playing this game for hours on end. And I have no problem playing this game you know for as long as I have been because it's been extremely fun. It's been uh, a whole lot to enjoy and. Um, you know, I, 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 I have no regrets on the purchase, but uh, with 2K12, I don't know if I'd feel the same way considering everything that I've been hearing about it has, has kind of lend, tended to be towards the negative. And um, I'm not, I don't know, I, I, I may eventually pick it up just because the DLC looked really interesting and I, I, I was kind of curious to try, try that out my, um, for myself instead of just watching other pl uh, people on YouTube post up footage of it randomly on their channel but I don't know it, it, it'll probably be a while before I actually make that decision and by then NBA 2k 13 will probably uh, have already been released you know so I, I'm definitely gonna be behind the bell curve on a lot of uh, of the uh, the gameplay footage here you know I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, to compete with guys who are bringing you create a legend mode with uh, with Tracy McGrady or LeBron James and, and whatnot, you know, I, I'm going to be too busy uh, trying to um, bring to bring to you guys what what I've been thinking about for a series here, which is uh, the Michael Jordan Create a Legend Mode um, challenge, which is I'm going to try and on Hall of Fame difficulty pl play on every team and try and win a championship with every team within the first year. Uh, it, <laughs> You know, so I, I really want to try. I like challenging myself. And you know what? The, there's nothing more challenging than trying to win a championship with just about every NBA team uh, just because of one uh, addition, uh, additional player, which would be, of course, Michael Jordan. Uh, I don't know. It, it, let me know if you guys actually want to see that. Uh, if not, I might just scrap it. Uh, but it, it, if there's actual interest in seeing that, then I'll definitely do it. Because I've, I'm, I'm sure as hell having a whole lot of fun playing this game. I have uh, no issue uh, playing this game for for 40 hours on end for a week just to try and uh, complete the challenge and complete the series in a faster manner than dragging it out for over a year, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know what, what else to say other than um, that, uh, to me, I really have been struggling to um, kind of set up these videos a lot better uh, when I say that I mean that um, I've been having trouble uh, maintaining a, a good enough schedule in in my editing of these videos it, like the NFL blitz took a lot longer the NFL blitz footage took a lot longer to to kind of set up and and um, render out actually uh, because there were so many edits to it and so many changes to the footage that, you know, it, it took a while to, to set up. And I wanted to get that out a day earlier than what it, what when I uh, initially released it. And here, you know, this footage took, I, I want to say, um, somewhere between 15 to 18 hours of work on it. And, of course, that, that was spread out through maybe two or three days. So obviously, you know, if I'm going to be able to pump out, you know, more content for you guys, I'm going to have to find a way to either speed up my process or just simply, um, I don't know, come up with uh, some more footage that, that doesn't require as much editing. Uh, because this game took about, four, uh, the raw footage is probably about uh, somewhere around 48, maybe 58 minutes. And um, that that requires a lot of a lot of attention and a lot of uh, editing to to fix up. Here I am uh, tr trying desperately to to kind of shut down Clyde Drexler for the remainder of the game because he's already sitting on I think at this point 19 points, uh, and that means any basket at this point means I, I lose the objective, um, which means I would have to start over. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 
I probably should mention that um, I had I had really struggled in trying to maintain uh, Drexler uh, defensively because he was he would he would he would, he would really kill me on his post game. Um, I, I, and that's one thing I noticed about 2K11. Uh, the post game is is, is killer. Uh, you know, it's hard to it's really really hard to defend um, a lot of it. But uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll I'll be improving my gameplay to actually include that better in my in my own um, offensive uh, abilities because uh, it's it's really hard to pick up. It, it's something that I've been struggling with for about for a while. Now, um, what quarter is this? I can't even see the. Oh, we're in the fourth. Okay, so. Uh, Seeing, seeing as we already passed the third quarter, I, I can mention this without spoiling anything. For anyone that, that noticed, um, at this point, uh, going into the half, uh, I think Drexler had somewhere around 16, uh, 16 or, or 17 points. And um, during the entire third quarter, I was, I was lucky enough or just skilled enough to actually uh, have kept Clyde Drexler completely shut down. He was unable to score a single point that entire quarter. And that really helped towards um, towards finishing out this game with the uh, with all of the objectives. And here we go. We're, we're the, the the end of the game. They're gonna have to put us to the line to to try and um, get the ball back with plenty of time left to kind of um, put an end to well, not to put an end, but to to, to catch up. And um, here's where things get all get very interesting for me. And this is where I really noticed that you know. Perhaps the the gameplay wasn't put on Hall of Fame difficulty, and and for that, like I said, I apologize. You know, I, I definitely don't want to bring to you guys um, just uneventful, un uh, unentertaining footage of me just whooping the computer without ever so much of a challenge. You know, that's just that's just boring to watch, really. You know, it, it's not fun to to sit there and watch someone just school absolutely school the computer. And I don't know what kind of defensive setup I was I was going for there. I should have I should have been able to, to protect the paint a lot better than that. And here we go. Finally gonna end up this game. And here's where here's where everything everything culminates to the end. Right here. This is the finish. Oh so heartbreaking. To to be that close to finishing out the the all of the objectives, including st stopping Clyde Drexler from scoring more than I think 22 points, and the game rage quits. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Later, guys. I'll see you later.